I prayed for you so many years before I even knew your name. I asked God to give me a man who would take care of me and who would guard my heart. From the time I met you, there have been so many seasons. Each season was filled with laughs, tears, happy and sad, of course, good days, bad days, but most of all, each season was always filled with love. There was a time where I was so broken and so lost, and even though God knew where I was, I felt alone. And you see, I always felt if I was lost and broken, God would find me, pick me up, and mend me. But he didn't quite do it that way, and that's okay. Because what he did was even better. God knew right where I was, and so he sent you. He gave you the mind, the heart, the love, and the desire to cherish me. He sent you when I was at my lowest because he knew what would blossom for us both. It is such a beautiful blessing from God that I'm standing here across from you. You have been given many titles in your life. Son, brother, nephew, cousin, friend, district sales lead, boyfriend, fiance, and today I get to give you a new title of husband. Four years ago exactly, May 21st of 2018, we went to Pat's Pizza in Ellsworth and I began to slowly earn a high school diploma of knowledge in you. Then over time, I started earning an associate's degree as we started dating in October of 2019. Today I stand in front of you with what I would hope to be a bachelor's degree in Kyle Holmes, my only bachelor's degree. I promise to always continue learning about you, learning what you like and what you dislike, your big things and your little things, your fears and your goals. Someday I hope to get a master's degree and then maybe a doctorate. Today is a day of excitement and fun, but it is also a day of promise and loyalty. And I promise to always love you. I promise to display that love for you in ways that you feel it to be the most true. Forever like that. I promise to laugh with you, cry with you, and adventure with you through every situation. And I will always be here by your side, whether to help or just sit back, shut up, and listen. I promise to always go out, get a Chipotle, even when they're out of all their ingredients and backed up an hour. I promise forever to go to Chili's at 10 p.m. just to get dessert. I promise to always make more room for all the Starbucks cups you may buy. <laughs> I promise to love, honor, and hear most of what you say to me during the NFL season when three TVs are playing different games. <laughs> but most of all, I promise to not keep score in this marriage because no matter how many times I'm wrong or right occasionally, I will always be winning because your love is the greatest thing I could ever have. my flaws and my failures and you still choose to love me. You choose me every day and I promise to do the same. Today I vow my love to you. I promise to communicate. I promise to stay. I promise to respect you. I promise to be intentional. I promise to take care of you in sickness and in health. I promise to support you for richer or for poorer. Until my last breath, I take you forever. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Kyle, you may kiss your bride. It is my sincere honor to be the first to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Holmes. I may not always think before I speak, but I can say this with the most confidence. Grace, I love you with all my heart, and I will forever cherish you, our life, and any journey we take.